Hey everyone, so it's my fifth tutorial today that I'm recording, it's 10 p.m. I'm I'm almost dead, but yeah, look guys, so I just found something and it's, uh, I, I have to share it with you. I just found this product here, it's a Bluetooth like receiver thing, and I don't know, you see it has like this kind of a mountain shape, I don't know how to call it, it looks really weird, but I really like it, so this is the whole point. So when you see something you find interesting and if it's 10 p.m. or so, of course, you can't create like some super hardcore stuff. But just to practice because again, it's the repetition what makes you good, you know, and it's better than if you just watch tutorials or you spend time on TikTok. It's better that you practice on simple shapes like that. Okay, you will see it's not so, so crazy simple, but yeah. So I will show you how you can create this top here and you will finish it and create this whole bottom piece. Okay, so this will be your practice for today. And I will just show you this top piece, surface modeling, but you will create the bottom. So you have to practice. So let's start guys, it's, it's, it's fun. And by the way, guys, I just launched my Plasticity Accelerator membership program. Huge amount of value for just a few bucks and every week the highest quality on the whole internet what you can find on Plasticity. I will build the craziest place for online training for Plasticity. So yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's so fun. So let's dive into our tutorial here. Uh, go to top view. And by the way, first link below this video. <laughs> So let's create first of all the circle, right? Because this is our main shape, so we have to stay in it. And now, again, it's really simple. It's, you just look at it, right? So you have this perfect image from the top straight down. And you first of all, so it's pretty clear what we want to do is we want to create some curves and those curves we want to subdivide and then bring those points down and then surface and patch everything together as we always do and what is the most fun in plasticity, right? Surface modeling. Yeah, guys, I don't know, I'm super hyped, it's 10 p.m. I don't know where this energy comes from. It's, it's, I feel a bit crazy, but yeah. So create a line uh, from here, three quarter to three quarter. And this one a little bit uh, more to the left or so as you want. Perfect. So now we have our shape, but now we have to bring it up a little bit, right? So to bring it up, um, what we want to do is, first of all, we want like a point to where we want to put it. So uh, create a line, shift A, and just, yeah, drag that here. You see a little bit here along the Z axis. And now we want to attach all of those curves to this point here. So first of all, we have to select both of them and press Alt J. We will unjoin them. So we will have four curves. And now just take one of those points and control click and snap to the top. Perfect. So we don't need this curve anymore because now we can take all of those points and control po click here to the top. And you see we're getting somewhere. Now select all of those four curves and shift S because we need an extra CV, an extra point. So we can adjust the shape of the curves a little bit, right? So shift S, very simple. Perfect, and now just go to the front view and just drag them one by one with the shape uh, that you want. And go to the left view and bring those also a little bit closer to the middle. Beautiful. And now, so when I was doing that, this was then the part where you really have to activate your brain cells. And sometimes it takes longer, sometimes you find the solution super fast. But you see, we can't really uh, uh, patch here anything. So even if you select all of those curves and Alt J, so you get all of those curves separately, you can patch it. Yeah. Honestly, it's already a very good result. But again, we are missing this curve in the middle. So, but we are losing, uh, we are missing this, how is it called? This curve in the middle. Uh, right, because here we see it, it goes a little bit inside. So that we can accomplish by, if we go to the top view, we can create a line, shift A, and just snap here along the curve. And you see we messed it up. So press one, 
take the point and control snap to the uh, curve. So yeah, it's I will just do it very quick, spend a little bit more time with the right shape, but just bring the points to the curve so they are all green. And again, what we wanna do is we want to select all of those curves and again Alt J because we just want all of them separate, so we just have control. And now we want like this pyramid at the top, so we want to select those triangles at the top. Oh, before we do that, okay, wait, let me, okay, let me do it without headphones, but um, again, so now the lines are straight, but we need this curve in the inside. So select again those four curves and shift S again. So you see it's very often, it's basically six commands that you have to know for surface modeling and you can create basically everything, you know? Um, yeah, so all of those four middle points are selected and just press SS and just scale them a little bit inward. So you see, you just get a little bit of a curvature and bring them a tiny bit down. Perfect. So now you can patch them. So select those curves and patch them, shift three or search for the patch command. So patch, patch, patch. And delete those, all of those curves here, we don't need them. And now the magic part, we can just love this here. And the important part is we can give now G2. And because everything we've created with one curve and we split it, so we still have this original curve information kind of, right? So that just means in plain words, we can just bam, snap our loft to those curves and I don't know it's it's 10 p.m. it's like my fifth tutorial today but I'm really excited to show it to you guys so we have to do the same select this curve and this one and g2 and shift shift and here obviously you give g0 and guys look look it's perfect it's it's beautiful oh, I really like this so loft and here and here and the last one here and here, loft, shift, shift, G2. Delete all of those guys here. So delete all of those curves, join everything, check out the shading. And guys, what can I say? If you want to learn more how you can implement those technique in much more interesting real world products, appliances, electronics, organic shapes, Check out first link in the description. I've just launched our Plasticity Accelerator membership. It's the best online training on the whole internet on Plasticity. So join if you want. You get a lot of content. So if you want to truly master and excel in Plasticity, then I really can recommend you that place. And yeah, leave a like and subscribe for this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope I can see you in one of my next tutorials or courses or membership or videos. Have a nice day. Bye. And I'm going to sleep. Maybe. <laughs>